this today by the way we were not yard selling because we we're just gonna deliver this game to the post office to the post office and um not yard selling but we found a couple yard tells but let's start off with thank you William Patterson for your purchase of Afro Samurai because you found us some great deals, not knowing. <laughs> okay, so today's big adventure was we met the author of these. We did a little clip, which probably will be on before we even upload this video, but we met this guy. Um, his name was Frank. Good old guy. Pretty interesting guy. He retired and decided to have fun and keep making money. And he drew these. And sold them for a while. Well, he's still selling them. But we got really cool paintings signed by the original artist. I think those are prints, right? Not paintings? He They're drew drawings. them and then he copied them. He, and, draw, he yeah. drew them and then copied them. But still, pretty neat. Really talented guy. Great work. Um, we had him autograph all three of those. That was pretty cool. And he was so proud of himself when we asked him to autograph them. So that even made it more special. It was like, he's like, he lit up. Like, you want like, are you sure you want me to autograph them? Yeah. We're like, oh yeah, dude. It was awesome. So we made his day. By the way, we were, those were like three dollars a piece. Three dollars a piece. We couldn't pass on it. Um, then we saw a yard sale with the lemons. Where's my lemon bag? I have no idea. Where's your lemons? Where's my lemon bag? Did you already put them in the kitchen? Most likely. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we went to a different yard sale. All they had was clothes, and it was like, it was cool clothes. I almost drove by. I don't do clothes. But Jeremy was like, hey, look at some overalls, and I picked them up, and I'm like, yeah, these would have been in like five years, in ten high years school? ago. Yeah. <laughs> So everything was just too small for me. <laughs> and I don't know all the fancy name brands to the clothes, so all we, I bought was lemons. We don't have room for clothes, so. Too yeah. many lemon <laughs> said She's like, they're organic. I'm like, okay, cool, they're lemons. But they smell All right, good. guys, topic for discussion. If it grows out of the dirt, it's freaking organic, right? I mean, no, it, it's, honestly, if you spray it with chemicals, <laughs> it makes it not organic. Okay. It makes it not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the pesticides make. A Great difference. topic for discussion. But you guys tell me what makes something organic or not organic. I got lemons. Yay! Fresh lemons. She had a big old lemon tree in her backyard. Ten for a dollar. I mean, come on. And Give the lady a dollar. Juices. We got something else there, didn't we? No, we just got lemons. I just gave Oh, the, we got that stuff from the one yard sale, and then we got the lemons from that lady. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we were done yard selling. Because to remember, we were not yard selling today. Going, going to get our bagel, by the way. Mm, nice, fresh, yummy. cream cheese bagels. 
and we saw a sign and you know how it is. It's like, oh, let's just go check it out. And so, there, we got a box of goodies. Actually, I had a lot more goodies, but. We put some back. We were now, not yard selling, so we weren't prepared. We didn't even have the camera with us. This yard sale were people that do, um, storage auctions like they go and buy the storage units and then sell the stuff off so they kind of knew what they were doing and they had a lot of stuff they had it all pretty pricey um i didn't notice how dented that lid was or i wouldn't have got it right went right past that yeah Co old coca-cola stuff is collectible so you know we'll see what happens with that anyway um, they had a ton of stuff and we checked it all out and there's a couple of things that I saw that I wanted to get Laura had like five cameras lined this up not old. Polaroid camera and Nikon camera and all that stuff none of them look too fancy and the Polaroid kind of looked like it really didn't work so I wanted to put it back right away uh, the big thing that we got We'll leave for the end. Laura's just gonna kind of go through the stuff that she found. A Coke pen. I can't find the year, year on it. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't, I don't know, I can't tell if it's I think old. it's older because feel how thick it is. The newer ones have gotten thinner and thinner and thinner. And it feels pretty sturdy, so. There, there is a scanner, so I could just scan it. Mm -hmm. And comp it out. Go ahead, comp it out. Where is my phone? Do I you see my phone? I don't, but here's mine. eBay. I lose everything. Everything I have sued. I'd probably lose my hat if it wasn't attached to me. What a funny flurry hat. There you go. It's all set and ready to be scanned. Okay. five bucks to ship and it costs us one has sold for three ninety nine. okay so yeah we'll be stuck with that forever if you collect coke stuff hit us up <laughs> mom collects coke stuff mom art yeah. art mom and then Darth Vader if you guys don't know Laura is a Star Wars geek she sense. likes her Star Wars stuff. Which I might start posting some of my stuff. I'm not sure. Probably not. If you're a Star Wars collector, send her an offer. Uh, a, hey, I'm interested in your Star Wars stuff. I'm not everything collector. That's what I've come to realize. And then the furry. Furby. 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 I don't know if he works. Those are one of those creepy cookie. Kind of Sounds like one of the uh, early animatronics, I think they call them. Furry. Mm, once again, I cannot find a date because I'm pretty blind. But I just. So many get lamps. It. Oh, it's my Pixar. Right. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> I like my Pixar glam. I thought I was gonna post it and just get it for sale, but I enjoy it and I use it a lot. Okay, back to this. Uh, Dipple Funko Pop Marble. I think it's a Funko Pop, I don't know. I love that post, it's an old toy. collectible toy. I hope. I don't know. I was just a bug, so I could have on it. 
and then this this like caught my attention. It looks vintage. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles umbrella. And there she's got bad luck for five years. No, I don't. I didn't fully open it. <laughs> it's all like Nickelodeon. And there. Actually, it looks pretty cool spinning around for us. Well, then I'm going to have to open it all Just the way. Just spin it around. Looks like it's got them all on there. That's pretty cool. Don't break it. Not bad. That's a cute little umbrella. We'll see what so that goes pretty. for. Pretty good shape. Nickelodeon. That's the brand. I just thought it was cool. So we were watching YouTube last night, like we always do, and uh, looking at stuff, just trying to increase our knowledge on how to, you know, spot things that are better deals and things like that, that might be worth something. And the snow globes, uh, they were mentioning that some of those things can be worth some dollars. Uh, so I figured for a dollar a piece, they were worth it to us to at least try. There's not really any markings or anything. We're going to have to do our homework and see. But they were in good condition. And they're the glass kind. So, careful. You break it like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, very vintage type stuff. And, yeah. See if we got lucky. Very, very good shape though on both of them. So we even have the tag on it still. That might help us research that one. That one does have the tag on it. Until Christmas. <laughs>